Okay, Mr. Juan uh, Martinez, we're in Gonzales. Uh, where, where are we at and what are we doing here? Well, we're in the heart of the Saddle Bowl of the world. A place called Gonzales, California. And we are in the heart of Gonzales, California. The beautiful little uh, natural setting here we have. A couple of mallards flew off earlier. Um, frogs, things like that. A couple of birds that were here earlier, but we kind of chased them out, I guess. Sorry to say that. Okay. But, um, what I'm trying to do here is, is, is expose the natural surroundings in our downtown community in, of Gonzales. And, and this is the heart of it. I mean, it's not the business community. This is the, the natural ambience of it. As it goes back, you can see, you know, the beauty of it. Uh, it, does, uh, it does border on one side uh, private uh, residence as well as city property. And on the other side, it will be uh, uh, Gonzales Unified School District. Um, when we were kids. We used to come in here, you used to flood out in the street. Back over here, second pole over. I don't know if you can see that second pole down. Yes. That's that, that would be uh, Fourth Street. Okay, and uh, so on Fourth Street. Um, it's almost directly lined up. <laughs> but there, there's more poles oh, yeah, behind it. It leads you right, anyway, it leads you there to the, right in the front of school, right? Downtown, Gonzales, all that, you know, the business, you know, uh, sector, post office, etc. city hall. Right. Yeah. yeah, there's a church right there. You can see it. Yeah, there is a, there's a church in the distance there. You see that? That's a nice setting there for that church. But um, it used to flood out, and we used to come out, and we used to do our Tom Sawyer thing here. You know, once, once we realized about Tom Sawyer, and we saw what we, we'd been doing at the Salinas River, hey, we said we could do that down here. And uh, sure enough, uh, we started bringing uh, tubes and trying to make rafts and stuff. Our parents didn't appreciate it too much, though. But um, anyway... Since then, they've knocked down trees, cleaned it out, and then tried to get rid of the water, drain it out. They got issues with mosquitoes, uh, possible contamination, that's, that stuff. They keep bringing in landfill from other sites throughout the... I don't know where the landfill is coming from. I don't even know it's been authorized to be dumped in a natural preserve like this. And I should think it's time that we recognize it as such so that they uh, keep the abuse from happening. It runs the length of Gonzales from the winery all the way down to... Uh, uh, and under Highway 101 on the northbound side, uh, on the north, about a half mile north of the Gonzales exit, northbound exit on 101. You'll see that on the right side, right shoulder of the highway, you'll see a park down in there. We just kind of feel if there's places like this that, that can hold this, this amount of water, we ought to make ponds out of it, lakes out of it, all the way through uh, the entire length of it and connect them through pathways and stuff. And uh, it also, this water does help because it seeps back into our water aquifers and it helps provide uh, drinking water for the city of uh, Gonzales, as well as a uh, uh, natural habitat for, for the birds and things. So it is a, a concern. Uh, we're gonna walk through right now and, and, and look at some more sites and we'll sit down and give you an update on that. So uh, we're gonna hit up, up Creek, which is in that direction. Downstream is this way, uh, meaning that's Salinas in that direction. Right, yeah, north, uh, north this, is downstream. Yeah, just to put a little caveat on this thing, uh, this creek actually used to pour back into the Salinas River. So there's a, there's a, that's where it goes. They've, uh, as we all know, they've, they use lasers and stuff now to flatten areas and, and they've covered all that natural waterway. It's all going to come back with the next good flood, right? Uh, water's going to take its natural course and all that's going to get uh, opened up again. But uh, yeah, this is part of that whole natural environment and sadly it's been uh, neglected all this time. I do recall, my, like my dad was been here since 1905, and I recall conversations of them wanting to fix this up like a park and things, and they used to come out here and get catfish, things like that, when the Salinas River would back up, the fish would find a way to get back up in there and would spawn and do that, and you get wild birds, hawks, I mean, all kinds of predators coming in from all over, mountain lions, bears, we have newspapers of bears back in the 50s and 60s here in Gonzales, so it's uh, that kind of environment, I think, uh, not that we'll ever see bears and things and bobcats, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the environment I grew up with and so many of us here in Gonzales, you know, we're like the diehards here to so try to pass it on to the next generation. So anyway, uh, we'll hit up upstream and we'll take a view, see what we, where we get there from, from there. Thank you. If, uh, part two, if, uh, if you look at the creek here, Wes, if you kind of start from that side and pan over to your left and then take it upstream, Yeah, and now uh, the, on the back of us here, we're walking in the, the direction of the Catholic Church, the skate park, swimming pool. All that would be to our our right here along this berm and this this uh, this rise. We right got about 30, 30 foot rise if you're looking from the river or the creek up 
up there. It looks like it could be about 30 feet, you know? About 20? Yeah. You think Closer. 20? Okay. 15, well, 20. I'll have to dig another 10 then. Make it, yeah. make it right. All because, right. Because uh, there's a lot of silt in here. And one of the things that, that, uh, that we have as a challenge, according to the city, is getting out that those uh, uh, tules and things that have grown in there and the back up and just create uh, habitat for mosquitoes and things like that. So that's, that's one of their concerns. So let's mm -hmm. walk on down and we're headed towards uh, uh, Up Creek along the, this trail. You might make out a trail there. And yeah. we'll be following that. All right. I mean, the, the really nice thing is pretty. You know, from this it's point, pretty with no trash. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that might be 20 feet up. I don't. I don't think 30 though. I mean, you know, you're talking two-story house. It's not even as tall as a two-story okay, house. Okay, so you're you're uh, five and a half. I'm five and a half. Four of us stacked up. It's 20 for sure. So 30, right? So you got four of us. Yeah, about 30 and and, and less. Over yeah, 20, but it's, it's so so. What, what's the point of, of the rise? What are you worried about? Uh, being able to carve in a a, a walkway, okay, a walkway with a, a a level area where maybe we we can connect barbecue areas to another barbecue area to another barbecue area, uh, in and around the atmosphere of the water water ponds, uh, the tules, and maybe this is a truly community park. I think the the kids would love this as a as a as a project. Uh, parents can come down here and, and be here instead of having to drive distances to enjoy this ambiance. And uh, future growth of Gonzales, you know, I mean, we need to look at what we have as a, as, as a natural resources and take care of that. If you swing over uh, west to your right and, and look at the trees, you got redwood trees, you got pine trees, oak trees, you got pepper trees. We have uh, uh, Monterey, uh, uh, what's this one here? The Monterey Cypress. Cypress. And to our right there, we got a pretty mature. 50-year-old uh, pine trees there, mixed in with some palms. Um, and pretty flowers. Yeah. A little tiny creek runoff. Alrighty, let's head back. Okay, what about this way? Whatever way you want. What about it? I just wanted you to catch the length of it and and how uh, the, the potential of having this as a as a as a. Uh, uh, a large pond. Large uh, pond where it's already got water, and then and the, this being a little bit and, more and back to picnic area. And yeah, and back to the slimmest, low drive, low.